What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Pit Info. Coming at you here with another video. This video is going to be a book review. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm going to do one. Now, for this review, I'm going to be reviewing this book, which is called Guide to Cichlids. Uh, now, if any of you watch my plant unboxing video from the shipment I got from Jeffrey Heiser a while ago, this came in it as well as a gift, uh, along with two, uh, one or two other books. Uh, so, this is, I, I've read all the way through this book. I've checked everything out. I was very thorough and diligent about uh, reading this book. Uh, so, I have bookmarked a few certain pages. Not all these are bookmarks for the video. Some of them are just marking the different... Uh, sections of cichlids like you know this one marks the you know South American Central American blah 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 so uh, but I did mark one or two cichlids in each section of the book so we're gonna start here in Madagascar and India so the first fish I have bookmarked here is Paratolopia uh, polleni uh, so basically this book tells you the pH range right here, uh, what kind of lighting it, it prefers, the temperature, and it tells you temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius, uh, you know, just depending on which one you use. Uh, it tells you who discovered slash, um, uh, yeah, I guess discovered the, this particular species, uh, and then tells you their dietary notes, uh, and then just gives you general information. Um, it's it's a very good book. Uh, now, of course, there are certain flaws in it, so you know I can just point those out on the way, such as on this one. Uh, it says the Paratolopi polleni is the small spotted variety of the Paratolopia, but uh, and it says the Blachiri are the large spotted, which uh, is actually the other way around. I'm not sure, maybe they were reclassified or whatever. Uh, but they also do have the Paratolopia sp. Let's see if I can actually pronounce this. Fiano Arantosa. Nope, can't pronounce it. But this is the green face Severum. Or er, Severum, what, the, what am I saying? Uh, the green face Paratolopia. Now, moving on to the next one, which is. Uh, of an which is a Indian variety of the cichlids. Now, this is a fish that I actually very interested in getting my hands on someday, which is uh, Trophla Etrophilus maculatus. Uh, now they're a uh, chromid. Uh, you know they go by all different names: orange, red, yellow, whatever. Um, now they remain quite small, actually, uh, three inches. Uh, they're omnivorous, you know, tells you all that good stuff. Now, just because this is a very, um, I guess interesting fish, you know, most people probably don't even know what this is. I'm going to go ahead and read some of the remarks. So, in nature, this cichlid inhabits small streams and lagoons where it feeds on fish fry, insects, and other small organisms. They occasionally move into estuaries where they are subjected to tidal influences and brackish water. These fish do well in aquariums with other peaceful cichlids and fish large enough to fend for themselves. Aquarium strains have been developed that lack the black spotting and identif uh, intensifying the red coloration in our sold as red chromids. Uh, these appear to be an, an unusual uh, sim, symbi God, symbiosis between the fish and its much larger uh, con. God, I, I seriously, I can't read right now. Uh, congener E. serratensis. Juvenile maculatus act as cleaners for larger cousins, but in turn, schools of Maculatus raid the nests of Seratensis, uh, I don't know why I keep on having trouble with that, and feast on the eggs and fry. So I figure I'd just read that whole thing since it is a uh, very interesting species. Uh, I would actually very much like to get my hands on these sometime. 
Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, which is region of Africa. Uh, I only marked one in here, uh, just since, really just because I don't have much interest in African cichlids. But I did mark this one, which is one of my favorite, uh, if not my favorite species of African cichlid, which is your shell dwellers, uh, Lamprologus oxalatus, or oxalatus however you want to pronounce it. Uh, now these are very cool fish, very small. You can keep them in, you know, small groups of them in 10 gallon tanks. So I do suggest 20 gallon long. Sorry about bumping the camera there. Uh, they're a micro predator, shell dweller, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm not really going to read too much in on all these other ones, but they have a lot of different species here, as you can see. Now we're moving on into South America. Uh, oh, just skipped one of the ones I was looking at. Uh, now this one, of course, I am also going to be looking at the flaws in this book as well. Uh, and this one, for example, this one that I marked here, which is labeled the Aquidens uh, Rivulatus. Uh, now, as you can see, the picture is actually of a Stalsbergi, or Stalsbergi, however you pronounce it. But all in all, it's still, you know, same information, same general information. Uh... And, you know, it's all good info. So now we're going to move on to the next one that's in South America. Now, this one in particular, I picked this one specifically because this is a fish that I do plan on getting uh, in the relatively near future, which is a species of angel angelfish, which is uh, Tetraphyllum leopoldi, uh, which is the one-spot angelfish, a.k.a. the long-nosed angelfish. Uh, size 6 inches, you know, typical angelfish size, omnivorous, uh, gen you know, it's basically the exact same care as a normal angelfish, they're just uh, not quite as customizable, uh, if anything, they might not actually be customizable at all, so we're going to move on here to the north slash Central America part, which, there you go, North America, they kind of just put North and South America, or North and Central America together. Now, of course, I had to go ahead and pick out my personal favorite fish of all time, Amphilophus trimaculatus. Uh, trimac, three spot, spot cichlid, up to 16 inches, though. Uh, 14, 15 inches, a lot more likely. Uh, you know, from Mexico, El Salvador, uh, you know, come from acidic swamps, apparently. Marine river deltas and you know, big stuff like that. Uh, now, these are very large fish. Uh, you need a 125 gallon for either a single male specimen or a pair. Uh, though for a pair, I definitely suggest 180 gallons uh, over anything else, really. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the last fish, which is, of course, a fish that I've kept, and you guys probably remember, the jaguar cichlid, Paracromus menaguensis. Uh, 24 inches is a stretch, uh, though in the wild it has happened. Uh, they, they'll typically stick to 14 inches, I'd say, 14, 15 inches. Uh, however, you know, I have, I have talked to people who have owned, you know, 19 inches and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they, of course, these guys are predators. Uh, these guys come from Costa Rica and Honduras. Um, they're extremely large and aggressive. Uh, if you guys remember Poseidon, uh, you know, he was very, very mean. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the inside of the book, you know. The cover, front and back, looks good. Got a couple of these peacock bass. Uh, this is made, this is written and published and whatnot by David E. Uh, Borokowitz. Now, this is... 100% worth the read, even if you're not so big into reading. Uh, it's by far worth it. Um, I'm not a big reader either, and this book kept me interested throughout the entirety of my reading time through it. I read through everything, the introduction, the uh, all those random chapters at the start, which are just, you know, like, why cichlids? Um, and then... Of course, through the African, Indian, Madagascar, South and Central Americans. Uh, this can this book can help you reference what you might want to put in your tank, get good information, uh, 
you know, just learn uh, and grow in the hobby. So this will help out a lot. So uh, I rate this book absolutely 10 out of 10 stars. Um, so if you ever see this book or if you can find it on Amazon or anywhere else, buy this. It's absolutely worth the read. Um, so comment, rate, subscribe. Respect the hobby, respect the hobbyists, and most importantly, respect the fish. I hope you enjoyed the video, and peace out.